This is a little bonus episode. We don't often get a chance to have uh, people as important as this in town, but we do today have SendGrid. So we have the founder, we have somebody who's working on the labs, and we have a marketing person. And I uh, use this product, and Ticket Cake uses it a lot. So I think it's something that a lot of the entrepreneurs out here that uh, are starting companies might really need to know about, and especially because they have uh, new branches of things. And that's where I kind of wanted to get started. So um, if you could tell me a little bit about how, what we know SendGrid to be, this is the founder, by the way, Isaac. Um, so one of the things that we know SendGrid to be is a place to uh, send your emails through so that you don't end up in the spam filter, right? And that's what we use it for. But it sounds like you guys are starting to branch out into new markets. And if you could talk a little bit about the vision for where the company's going to go, we'd love to hear that. Yeah, so one of the things that we recently introduced is a um, uh, uh, newsletter product where people, in addition to sending their transaction emails uh, through SendGrid, um, they also wanted to start sending their marketing emails, um, and we focus a lot on email deliverability. So uh, we just provided, we just launched a new interface for for customers to be able to upload their upload their list, uh, compose uh, an email with the template, and then send it to um, to their users. Uh, the other thing that we that we did is we introduced this this new stats dashboard. And it, it was a, a success, and now we're uh, about to release a, a new version of that. So that's like deeper analytics on, on things like a breakdown of email clients, uh, geo location, uh, devices that are using to. A, a lot of these features you end up getting from, from email marketing companies like Constant Contact, MailChimp, and stuff like that. But one of the cool things that Sangra does is that we can provide all these analytics on. Um, uh, from all your email traffic, so transactional and uh, marketing, and uh, so yeah, okay, we're moving. That's something that we're, that we're about to introduce probably by the end of the year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I mean, so at Ticket Cake, we kind of compete with like Ticketmaster or Eventbrite, a company like that. So for us, it was really important that if somebody bought a ticket to an event, that they got their QR code, that it actually came through, and that they didn't say like oh, the image is spam or like the text is spam. So that's the reason we like first signed up. But I mean, I can totally envision a world where we say, look, at, like we offer more of a service to like if you threw an event and you sold tickets, maybe we could use your future products to integrate in a sense that we could, uh, you know, say you bought a ticket to this event before, let's send it to them and we can guarantee to our event organizers that they're going to get their tickets and they're okay. Yeah. And one of the so. things, so SendGrid also has a few features where uh, some customers don't even know about it, don't take advantage of. Uh, and this is like our event API. So if someone opens the email, someone marks it as spam, we can actually notify you real time that customers are actually doing that. And, and you can associate okay. that with your application and you can say, well, customer X from email template, welcome email, uh, mark my email spam type of thing and associate that with, the, with your application. The other one is the Parse API where you can have customers reply to emails and then Singer will get these emails, uh, extract attachments in the body and actually post them to a web application. That's something that um, gotcha. uh, like kind of like hitting features that, that customers sometimes don't take advantage of, but it's like it just... Uh, some of the things that we provide through through our APIs. Okay, and then so how did you get Meg on board? I mean, I know you guys are doing a great job with marketing. Like, yeah. obviously, you had a lot of competitors, and you still might have a few, but you're definitely starting to elevate above a lot of the people that were competing with you years ago. And um, that talked to me a little bit about how, like, were you in charge of this whole marketing deal? And like, oh, sweet, no, um, no, I am a, a very small part, but uh, I would say an integral part because um, our marketing effort has a multitude of people and a lot of great. Um, really informed folks that are working at a marketing level. But I think really what's made the most difference is that I'm part of the developer relations team, which is a really special group, a part of our team, because they get to go out in the world and they meet developers on a one-on-one -on -one basis. They meet them at events, they meet them at hackathons, some of the hackathons that we run. And they get to meet them on a level where it's a developer-developer relationship and figuring out what they want and what they're looking for. And they get a real uh, feedback from that. And they also try to educate them about how this product can help them do what they want to do easier. And they just want to make it so that the whole idea is you have other things you want to focus on. Right, this is supposed exactly. to make this one piece easy. Done. 
that's all you need. So marketing was done for you. You yeah. just had to say like, yeah. Just, <laughs> well, and we just want to save time. Beer, yeah. You know, and right. Like fun. That's how we get. That's how we run this whole show. That's it's how we I, do. That's the marketing key. It's that's what the last what you guys really need. So absolutely. And, well, and the whole idea is the um, the main mantra is send grid everywhere, and that seems to be kind of a. Uh, could be a vague piece, but the idea is that SendGrid everywhere means that we really were striving to put the brand out there in the world. Um, we just went um, to Geeks on a Plane in the Middle East, so um, SendGrid everywhere really is trying to reach all the other countries that you don't necessarily think of when we're in the United States and realize that there's so many people right. out there and they all need email and they need it to work well. Right. So that's what the developer relations team is doing, is they're getting out there and they're meeting people and seeing them in their own culture and their own needs and trying to figure out how our product will meet those needs. Okay. Well, I think you're doing a great job. So I recommend Isaac that he keeps you on board, you know? No firing this <laughs> week. <you>. So, <laughs> but okay. So and the last topic I want to talk about is, uh, I guess you guys are doing a whole like kind of Google Labs type deal inside of SendGrid, right? So uh, maybe that's too much, but you tell me a little <laughs> bit about what, what SendGrid Labs' is, uh, goal is and where you guys are at right now. Yeah. So SendGrid Labs is uh, focused not, uh, we're, fo we're an R&D piece of the organization. We're not necessarily focused on building on top of our core email infrastructure, but what we are focused on building is tools that do just what SendGrid does for developer communities and engineering teams. It takes that whole burden um, of building email infrastructure, worrying about scalability from an email perspective, deliverability off their hands so they can focus on their business and build their, their product. So our focus in labs is to build tools that take some of those mm, burdens gotcha. off, like back office tasks. So for example, we recently just a week ago launched a product yeah. called Loader.io and it's, it's basically a load testing platform that, you know, engineers focus on building their applications and making it scalable to handle 10,000, 50,000 current users. Um, we just gave them a tool that they can use free of charge, which will actually test the application to see if it can handle 50,000, 100,000 plus concurrent connections. And then they can integrate that. There's a simple API. They can integrate it into continuous integration, deployment, development processes. And we just want to build tools that help developers be more awesome. Yeah, so I, t yeah, I totally understand. So, yeah. All right, well, I appreciate you guys coming out. Yeah. It was a pleasure, and uh, thank you for coming by. We appreciate pleasure. you coming to visit downtown community, too. Yeah. So, All right, thank you, guys. Nice. See ya. Yeah. Like a flashback, Vegas Tech, don't forget to spell it with the hashtag.